concert by Colombian music sensation Latin Latters. The band, whose name in English means Latin cans, is spreading a message of respect for the world's environment. Latina Latas was born out of us four original band members trying to do something for the environment. We were all worried about the environment and music brought us together. The band goes further than just promoting protecting the earth. All of its instruments are made from recycled trash. Junkyards and trash heaps are where the band finds the material to make its instruments. Okay. I make the majority of the instruments. All of the research and making the instruments I do. Where most see trash, drummer David Castiblanco sees a world of possibilities. This place is like paradise. I come here a lot. It's my shopping mall. Today he's looking for parts to make a new percussion piece. David visits these junkyards around once a week, looking for trash that can be recycled to make music. For us, trash doesn't exist. Recycling needs to start with ourselves. It can be a hazardous job. You never know what you're going to find. Crossing one trash heap, he opened a plastic bag and found it filled with dirty needles. He was fine, but it taught him to treat these junk piles with respect. I found what I wanted, a printer. I use them a lot. They've got bars inside for the instrument I'm going to make today. In his house in Bogota, David has created a workshop where he makes the instruments. Here he's made drum kits, trombones and bass guitars. But he's more interested in drawing out new sounds from the trash. I'm always looking for new sounds. I came from a world of traditional instruments, but in trash you find different sounds. Since I started making instruments, I didn't want to replicate sounds. I wanted the trash to bring its own sounds. This new electro kalimba will be used in future songs. Andrea De Francisco's bass is made up of a collection of different materials, including an old oil can and a record. David's drums were made using tennis balls, parts of bicycles and old furniture. On a weeknight, Andrea and David rehearse. The band has become much in demand since the release of its first disc. The band sold its first run of a thousand discs, with one of its songs hitting Colombia's top five. Since then, Latin Latters has been giving concerts across the country. Both Andrea and David had spent years promoting recycling before they created the band four years ago. They decided music was the best way of getting their message across. Music is our tool to be able to talk about issues that have been talked about a lot or handled in a boring way.
el medio ambiente, los temas principales que tocamos realmente. Our issues that we play about revolve around the environment. We have to participate in this because our lives depend on it. We talk about animal rights because they're part of the environment in life. The use of bicycles, we talk about recycling. De la bicicleta, hablamos del reciclaje. It's this message that makes the group so different. Most Colombian music rarely strays from love songs. The band's success has been playing different types of music, especially drawing on Colombia's rich musical history. We want to reach all audiences so that there's no division. To do that, we play every type of music. Obviously, we want to do fusions of Colombian music like Curalao from the Pacific Coast, Bambuco from the Andean region, Cumbia, which is from Colombia. We have funk, reggae, jazz, and the idea is to show people that they can do any music they want, and for every taste, there is a message. Y que eh, para todos los gustos siempre va a haber un mensaje. Latin Latters has grown in recent years to be a 50-strong person collective. The collective works in towns across Colombia, like Cajica, just outside of Bogota. Here they teach children how to appreciate recycled goods with toys, clothing, and of course, instruments made from trash. They're particularly focused on reaching children. Our biggest strength is the children. They are the seeds of what will happen in the future. They are the present and the tomorrow of this world. I will recycle because our planet needs it. Our planet needs us to take care of it. It is our home and the home of many other generations. This is a tool of transformation, the trash, something so negative. Our biggest goal is to change the word trash in people's minds. We want the word to be positive. After the lesson comes the concert, the real way the band will keep pushing its message of protecting the planet. America's Now.